How's it going everyone? Monspider here bringing you another episode in the Pokemon TCG series. So today, <laughs> a bit of a strange one. You know when you're sitting late at night and you have a really silly idea and you try it out and it works. Well I had that building a standard deck last night. Um, yeah what really was that like late night delirium? I've only had like five games that, and as you can see I've actually won three games. And yeah, this is a weird one. So basically what happened was, I was playing the Rillaboom deck, uh, theme deck, and I was like, well, Whimsicott is pretty cool, because of Cotton Ride. Do you able to paste this, to remove your opponent's active Pokemon? So then I had the thought of, well, let's make a deck around this, and let's make a deck around just not getting prize cards, but still winning the game. Turns out, it's pretty stupidly effective. So like this is like my second iteration of the deck, so I've got a lot of work to still put into it. But like this is my thought process so far, and like what's gone around. So, for those of you who don't know, the deck runs around Whimsicott. With Cotton Ride. Flip a coin, if heads, your opponent shuffles their active Pokemon and all attached cards into their deck. Now, the idea behind this deck is basically to remove all of your opponent's Pokemon so that they have no benched Pokemon, and you win that way. Now... This deck works better against decks that rely on like a singular Pokemon, especially when it turn comes into like evolutions and the slower type decks. Um, it, it, it's stupidly good, like it shouldn't be that effective. And then I run the Shenotic with flickering lights just to s store them out. Now obviously for this to work, you gotta be running Glimwood Tangle. This stadium allows you to basically reflip. Um, your coins. So you've got a 75% chance of scooping up your opponent's active Pokemon. Now, this deck is still very much a work in progress. I'm not entirely happy with it. Like, turf I don't need four Turfield Stadiums. I do need Drop This Down. And, like, I need another Guzma and Hala. And I don't have enough draw quite yet in this deck. So this is definitely still a first, first iteration. And I need to do a bit of work with it. But it's stupidly fun. So I'm going to showcase this deck a bit. Um... It really is one of those decks that, by all means, should not work, but it does. So yeah, <laughs> let me show it to you. I hope I can actually pick up a win now today. Um, it really is silly. I think I've taken like one prize card for this deck so far. Um, uh, I do actually want to go first with this because I want to get my evolution out first. Um. Ooh, this is bad. Oh, this is really bad. Okay, well, this is gonna be a bad game. Um, this is one of those times when I wish the game ran like Magic the Gathering Mudigan rules, where I could just be like, you know what, this is awful. I'm gonna get a new hand. But you can't do that, which is really irritating. Let's just put that there, and let's just pass and see what my opponent does. So it's really irritating. Um, I actually get a KO next turn if my opponent doesn't do anything out the ordinary. Ah, oh. really? Really? Why are you running that? <sighs> well, I don't get a KO. Anyway, that's a bit irritating. Um. Okay, this is a really bad hand. Really bad hand. Let's put that there. Let's put that there. Let's put that there. And flickering light. Now, unfortunately, I've lost my psychic energy, which is a bit frustrating. I don't like that. So let me flip it again. There we go. Now my opponent can't attack. And yeah, that basically, this is stalls half an hour. Unfortunately, this is a really terrible hand. So that's something I need, like, there's a lot of tweaking I need to do with this deck. I need to get the, the drawing right, because at the moment this deck is drawing very slowly. Um, and that's something I need to fix very quickly. Um, so like I said, there's a, there's a lot of tweaks that still need to happen with this. I mean, I haven't even sleeved it yet. Um, oh, interesting, it looks like they've actually built a, one of the new Charizard decks. I like it. Alright. Oh, Crobat, thank you so much. Let's get those draws going. Uh, yes, please. Please draw Psychic Energy. Okay, cool. That's game. Just giggles. Let's do that. Let's do that. Let's get that done. But that is game. We should go. Fear the forest. Okay. 
Well, that was a bit of a silly one. Uh, let's jump into another one. Hopefully, we get a bit of a better game. Um, yeah, there's a lot of refining too. Seems like I only have three whimsicots for some reason. I don't know why. Um, I really thought I had four, so I need to actually go and get another one. Um, boss's orders is hilarious with this deck, because like once your opponent has figured out what they do, they tend to send forward junk Pokemon against your whimsicots, and they keep what you want in the what they actually want in the back. So then you just boss's orders it forward and then just get rid of it. That's really silly. Like I said, this is a, this is one of those decks that is just like it's it's just silly and it shouldn't work, but it's great. Alright, my opponent's going first, which is actually a bit of a bummer. I don't like that too much. Um, let's let Morlal go first. I'm very tempted to put the Cotton E forward. Okay, another weird deck. This is so strange. Like, I faced, like, legit hardcore decks last night. What is this? I thought this was like a double welder deck. Oh no, it's not. Okay. Alright, that's fine. Never mind. I thought this was one of those weird trolley decks, but it doesn't look like it is. It's gonna be one of those days. Well, at least it's just fueling my win streak. Cool. Well, let's try for the third time and get a normal game going. Um, yeah, I guess it kind of happens every now and again. Um, but yeah, I like building these very different decks that just, that just play differently. And I mean, this is certainly a very different wooden con from what I'm used to. And I can tell you one thing, it is so much fun. I mean, like, this deck is not that expensive to make either. Um, like, the core components from this deck are... You can get most of them from just um, the Rillaboom deck and then a few trades. So overall, it's not a very expensive deck. Um, basically, if you've got Glimwood Tangle, you can build it. Glimwood Tangle and the Rillaboom deck, you can basically build this. And there's just improvements from there. Um, Alright, not bad. I don't have energies. Ugh. Okay, this, I think Morlo might just be going down this game. Like I said, there's a lot of tweaking I still need to do. Like, this deck is not 100%, and I don't like it. Because, like, I often have draw problems. Um, which is quite frustrating. Let's see. Oh, that's not a great start for my opponent. That is generally not what you want to see, unless my opponent is building a poison deck. Shame they lost out on Dark Asset, though. That is very unfortunate. See what they're gonna do. Ooh, turn it just lovely, 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 lovely. This is gonna be awkward. The problem is I need to get this Mauler out out. I'm just actually ran bird bird keeper. Because like often like I have a pretty full bench. I think like bird keeper would be a pretty good idea. You attach a dark energy card from your hand to one of your bench Pokemon. Oh that's pretty cool. Okay, cool. Alright. Dynamax Cannon, your opponent's active Pokemon. This Pokemon in VMAX is attacked as 120 more damage. That's okay, I don't have any Pokemon Vs. You're gonna take a while to get through this. And one of those nice things is this deck doesn't... Bar... Crobat V. This deck doesn't run multiple prize card Pokemon. So it does take your opponent longer to get through... Um, their prize cards as well. Which is quite nice. Because these days basically everyone's running Pokemon Vs, VMAXs and the like. Um... So, typically having a deck that doesn't run that is actually quite good. So let's put that down there, let's put that down there, let's put Lucky Egg over there, let's put that over there. Um, yeah, cool. Please knock out my Morlel. Now that's basically what I want, is for Morlel to go down. That would make me very, very happy. I was actually really hoping to see like a Leon there. Um, just for that KO. <clears throat> Ooh, Prof's Research. Nice. Very good Prof's Research as well. The more Pokemon I see, the more frustrating it is, unfortunately. But it's alright. I'm very tempted to run a Crushing Hammer in this deck as well. 
just like mess with my opponent even more. Yeah, like I said, this deck is so much fun. So, so much fun. I haven't actually gone, gap, uh, gone up against Turner's VMAX yet. For all your Pokemon play are dark types, you can have up to 8 Pokemon on your bench and you can't put non dark Pokemon into play. This deck does station damage for each of your dark Pokemon in play. Ooh, very nice. Problem is, I don't have Glimwood Tango right now. Which is a little bit scary. Because this is a problem. It's a very big problem. That's not what I wanted. I really wanted to see Glimwood Tangle there. Alright, let's put Cottony down. And... That's not what I wanted. Not what I wanted at all. Great ball. Um... Bring another cottony out so that next turn I can bring out another Whimsicott. Um, I guess I can turf field stadium. Which brings out another Whimsicott. And. Oof. Cotton Ride? Oh, yes! That was amazing. Bye bye. Alright, this is going to be a bit of a tough one because it looks like our opponent's going to have quite a full bench. It's going to be running lots of Pokemon in this deck, which is a bit of a problem. Um, but let's see how it goes. Wow, my opponent got really lucky with their draws. Ah. Uh, Ugh, black market. Oh, that I guess doesn't really matter. Doesn't yeah it it really doesn't matter that much. Um, let's do that over there. 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 Let's bring out Shnotic. Let's do that. And I know I'm giving my opponent draws, but like I'm. Like, as much as I want those bosses' orders, like, I also need a new hand, unfortunately. Okay, I got Guzmo for next turn to bring out what I actually need. Um, let's go down there. And flickering lights. Cool, well, I'm not going to be attacking this next turn unless my opponent switches in with that Eternus VMAX. Um, which I guess is something. And I'm kind of okay with it because, I mean, if they knock out... I'm not terribly concerned if I lose Shinotic. Shinotic's there, quite frankly, to stall quite a lot. Um, there's a Glimwood Tangle. That's what I want to see. Um, but now the issue is I can't even just hold out and not play anything. I think I'm just going to hold out and just carry on flickering lights. Um, and wait for my opponent's charged up opportunities to come in. And then I'll drop Glimwood Tangle and bring in the Whimsicott. Ah, that's unfortunate. That's very unfortunate. This is not a good matchup for me. Ooh, that's not bad. Alright, I wonder if this is actually going to come down to the number of cards in the deck. If my opponent just outdraws me. I'm interested if that happens. Alright. Um, Audio Rod is quite nice when Boomsicott goes down, so there's no real need for it right now. Um, I can get that Shinotic down there. Uh, I can charge that one up on the back, because I'm pretty sure this front one's going to get knocked pretty soon. Um... I guess I can Glimwood just to hopefully get this off more often. I'm gonna hold on a prof. I'm gonna hold on a prof for one turn and I'll see what happens. Flip again. Ah, that's irritating. Alright, that's very unfortunate. So I held on a prof in case they ran a Marnie. They hit me with two Marnies already. 
Um, yeah, there's the Marnie. Okay, so that's the right play. I figured they're running a lot of Marnies in that deck. Alright. Um, I think let's jump back whilst Glimwood Tangle's in play. Because things, I'm not getting knockouts. I'm really not going for knockouts. I'm going for just messing with my opponent. And I kind of want to get Whimsic... I kind of want Whimsicott to go down, so I can then use these ordinary rods. So let's get that down there. Um, and let's go with Cotton Ride. Cool. I'm very happy with that. Please go away. Alright. Now, this Whimsicott's not long for the world. I know that much, at least. Um, but that's alright. Like I said, this is one of those decks that's just, like, silly. But the problem is, this is not a great... I'm going up against a really bad matchup, unfortunately. Which is quite irritating. Alright, let's try this one. Let's ordinary rod those booms across back. Let's go one, two. And let's go one, two. Let's bring that back to the deck. Um, let's put that over there. Let's go Cotton Ride. Cool. Oh, that's good enough for me. And let's put that away. And let's see what my opponent does. Which one is this? The neutral the gas one? Yeah. Alright. Ah, uh, that's irritating. Okay. It's not the end of the world, but it is certainly irritating. Oh, I'm okay with that. Oh, that severe poison's actually a pain. Hmm. Well, at least I can get rid of the power plant. Not that it really matters. But I can get to a field stadium, which is something. Hmm, that's an issue. That's a big issue. Um. I'm actually going to retreat it. To Shinotic. Put that back there. And put that there just in case. Um, just gonna bring out a Whimsicott into my hand. And then I'm gonna go for Flickering Light. And hopefully get lucky here. Okay, I did get lucky. So I'm not gonna get poisoned again this turn. This is gonna be a bit of a long matchup. This is a, a long match. This is a really bad matchup for me. Because my opponent has lots of Pokemon. That's the issue. Um, this deck works well against opponents who don't run lots of Pokemon. And unfortunately, the Eternatus VMAX deck runs a lot of Dark Pokemon. Um, so it's not really the best showcase for this deck. But I mean, yeah, let's see. Alright. I'm honestly thinking this might come down to card draw if I can stall this game out long enough with Shinotic. The Absol, right? Yeah. Well, no more retreating for me. <sighs> Alright. I don't have Glimwood Tangle down. Oh, there's Glimwood Tangle. Which means I can at least get a knockout here. The only problem is. I think I have three prize cards left. It doesn't guess it doesn't really matter that much. Okay, let's get this knockout. Because the Eternatus is going to come in and knock out Shinotic, which is a bit unfortunate. Um, I mean, not Shinotic. Um, then Whimsicott comes in, and I don't have another basic Pokemon when that Whimsicott goes down, which is an issue. So yeah, a really bad matchup for me, unfortunately. I maybe should have played for the stall there instead with Flickering Light. That might have been a better play, actually. But I guess the opponent could have just retreated out. Alright. Um, I'm actually gonna have to money myself for a new hand. Yeah, I'm gonna have to money myself. Ah, uh, that's irritating. I need I need another basic Pokemon. There we go. That's a bit better. Um running really low on pri on prize cards though, which is an issue. 
Let's get that down. Let's get that down. Let's put that over there. Let's go cotton ride. Thank you. Uh, don't want to flip again. That goes away. Yeah, this is a really terrible showcase of this deck. Um, going up against the turn to deck. And he found a way to mill with this woman's cot. That'd actually be really cool. That could be a lot of fun. Um, but let's see. Yep, and bye bye Whimsicott. So sad. I had so much fun with this deck last night, and now it's a really bad matchup. And uh, let's see. I basically need to dig down into a Whimsicott boss's orders. You are not helping me this turn. And. Evolution Incense. Whimsicott. Let's go. Ordinary Rod. Let's do both. Let's bring back. And let's bring back these two. And I might switch to a more stall game. If I can get it out. Great ball. Um. The thing is that we must have got if it goes down, it goes down. I guess the draw makes more sense. Let's bring the draw out. Bosses maybe will be something useful, but I doubt it. Cool. I don't want to flip that again. Please go away. Problem is I've now drawn below my opponent, which is an issue. Yeah, that severe poison is going to be the end of me. Ah, oh, that's okay. I've got another one. Yeah, like I said, this is just like one of the worst matchups for me. Disappointing, but it's okay. It's good to play against these to realize like what is a problem. Turns out, this is a problem. Um. And go Turfield Stadium. And use Turfield Stadium to bring out Wumsicott. And then I can place the energy there to retreat this Wumsicott into that Wumsicott. Let's dump that energy. Fortunately, I can't play Glimwood Tangle, which is a bit sad, but it is what it is. Let's put that over there. Let's go Cotton Ride. And we get unlucky. Ah, oh, that's sad. All right. Well, it is what it is. Unfortunately, I needed to dig for the other woman's cut. Um, but this is certainly game now. There's nothing I can do about this. Because... Um, even getting rid of this wheezing, the Eternatus will come in. And if, if I don't get rid of wheezing, then wheezing will come in and get rid of me. It's one of those, like, catch-22s where I'm pretty much dead either way. But let's have some fun with it at least. Cotton ride. Nope. Let's flip again. Nope. Ah. <laughs> All right. Well, that's the end of it. Like I said, this is not a. This is by no means a top tier deck. But it's just such a trolly rogue deck. It's so much fun. And it's one of those things like when it works, it works. When it doesn't work, it just doesn't work. <laughs> and unfortunately, that's exactly what's happened here. Um. So let's see, I can do this one more time. Let's retreat out into Whimsicott. And let's go Cotton Ride. There we go. Would you like to flip again? No, thank you. I'm quite happy with the heads there. Go away. Yeah, the issue is... I'm now... I now have less cards than my opponent. So unless... I somehow managed to just cut and ride an unlimited number of times. Oh, I was going to bring a Crobat. Yeah, that's irritating. Because I need two energies in Crobat. Because of Absol. So unless I'm able to like just cut and ride continuously for the next, like, what's it? Two, four, six, seven turns. 
and my opponent literally does not draw any more basic Pokemon, then I can win. Otherwise, no, nah, no, nah. up oh, there's a game. All right, well that was a fun one. Um, definitely, this is the first time I've gone up against the Eternatus V Max deck in person, so I was quite happy to actually play against it, and it was nice to see when this deck fails. So I'm definitely running into an issue issue of draw. Um, and it wouldn't be a bad idea to have a way to mill my opponent. So maybe I must actually put some mill in this deck. Because at least then when I throw something back into the deck, I have a chance to mill it. Which is a good thing. Um, yeah. Maybe I must do that. I don't know, like I said, this is still very much an um, in-progress deck, a work in progress. But I'm having a lot of fun with it because it's just such a silly idea. Um... Alright, well, apparently I'm going for a bit of the Maulal uh, play. Actually, not a play this time. My opponent would have seen what I'm running now, which is a bit of an issue, but it's okay. It's not the end of the world. Um, let's see. I didn't actually look at my opponent's running, I forgot to look. Alright, apparently I'm getting all of the Shenotics. Let's get that down there, let's get that down there. Uh, I'll hold on Evolution Incense until next turn. Let's see. I'd love to draw Glimwood Tangle now. I guess it doesn't really matter. It's going to be a knockout either way. Alright, what basic Pokemon are you bringing up, my friend? What tag team will be max? Well, V. Oh, Jirachi. Okay. I'm okay with that too. Alright. So, say hello to Shenotic. Let's put that lucky egg over there. Let's run that into another Shenotic. Let's get that over there. Let's put that down over there. Let's go for Flickering Light. Hey, well, I can't get attacked next turn, which I guess is something. I should've actually got a KO. Why did I not get a KO there? I don't know why I didn't get a KO there. I don't know why I didn't get a KO there. That was silly of me. That was really silly of me. Why did I not go for the KO? Oh, I couldn't. Sorry. I didn't have a... I don't have the psychic energy. Oh, man. What is it doing? That was silly of me. That was really silly of me. Um... They'll do 80 damage, which would be a knockout. Man, I can't believe I just did that. Oh, man. Sorry, that was a really bad play on my side. I don't know why I put the energy on the on the back line. Anyway. Oh, that's going to come back to bite me. Um, But hey, at least I'm getting a bit of a draw here, which would be quite nice. Ugh. The thing is, I don't want to prof this hand away, because they go all my energies. But, uh, uh, this is a problem. I have to profess of this. Oh, man. Oh, I thought I had second energy there. Oh, man. I have to profit. Oh, you've got to be joking. Alright, well, let's do that. Let's Glimwood to make sure it happens. Let's egg that Cottony. In case I lose it. And this time I'm making sure it's going down. Man, I can't believe I just did that. Mm. I put the energy there, by the way, just so I had that I can still retreat and then do something with it. Man, I'm so frustrated about that. That was such a sleep, though. Well, I will be able to drag out that Galvantula. That should be good for me, at least. With boss's orders. I'm still with three profs in hand. Alright, well, this is a bit of an odd day, apparently. Let's see. Never seen anyone actually play Opal. I 
genuinely, I think that's the first time I've seen that card being played. Like, personally. Evolution Incense, let's bring up Wimsy Cart. Put that down. Charge up the Wimsy Cart. There's bosses that go Vanchler. And let's go Night Night. I can't, like, I literally said at the beginning of the video, I don't take prize cards, and now I'm taking prize cards. That might be how I'm going to win this game. Which is so weird, because it's not how it's supposed to function. But it's working. This is a bit of a weird deck for my opponent, though, I must say. It's a very different deck. I don't quite know what they're doing. Um, so yeah, let's see how this goes. I'm just going to carry on going Fear, because at the moment it just seems to be the thing to do. Because there's no point flickering light seeing a Jirachi if I can get a KO. I'd rather go for the damage. Alright. Fair enough. Why would you not preserve your Jirachi? We're losing more energies, which is unfortunate, but anyway. What is with these draws? Like, seriously. Um, I think I want them all low down, because apparently I'm going for damage this game, which is the weirdest thing in the world. Uh, oh, another Maulow. Um, And let's go for Fear of the Forest. Maybe they were thinking, like, that I wouldn't get the KO because they didn't think the extra damage from Fear the Forest, maybe? Uh, this is gonna hurt. That's unfortunate. If they've got the energy, this is gonna hurt. Because the problem comes in, they can reflip because of the stadium card. Yeah. It is unfortunate. And I just drew up, which means I don't have... Um, I'm not going to get value out of Lucky Egg. If they get the KO here. They'll definitely get the Paralysis. I mean, with, with two sets of coin flips, they must get the Paralysis. I don't know if they'll keep that or if they'll try their luck. No, they kept it. Okay. Yeah, unfortunately, I'm going to be losing this. Which is not the end of the world, but it is unfortunate. Um, well, I guess I don't have to lose it. I can bring, I can pull out the Oranguru. But then this is going to go down in the next turn anyway. I don't know if that's enough value. Do warrant to boss disorders. I don't think it does. Let's rather go for Marnie. Eh. It's okay. At least if they get rid of Glimwood Tango, I can use Turfield Stadium. So I guess it's okay. Um, let's bring that out. Um, honestly, it looks like I'm going DPS this game. So let's bring out Sh Shinotic. And, yeah, cool. At least I got my hand down, which is a good thing. So I get some value out of Lucky Egg. Um, and then bring in the next Shinotic in the next turn and go for damage again. This is, a bit, this is so weird. Like, our matchups last night were completely different. Um, so we went up against like ADP and everything. Um, and then like tonight, today, this is just so strange. But hey, I guess it, it happens. <laughs> Alright, so, Shinata's 100% going down here, there's no way. Cool, they'll reflip. There you go, there's the KO. Right, I'm okay with that, it's not the end of the world. Obviously, it's unfortunate, but it's not that unfortunate that I actually care. Alright. Um, I'm going to keep applying pressure going for, the, going for the knockouts, because it's kind of working at the moment. Uh, let's get that there. Let's go for the incense. I don't know why I played that that one, but that's okay. That can go there. Um, I don't quite like this hand, I won't lie to you. I know my opponent's drawing one more card, but I'm okay with that, considering my hand. I need to be careful, I'm actually about to draw myself out. Which is a bit weird. And not something I ex ever expected to do. Let's do both. Let's bring those two back. Let's bring... Yeah, 
Yeah, let's do that. It's fine. And uh, let's go there and there. Actually, I might as well bring two of those back. Because I don't actually ever need the green energy. I don't even know why I'm running green energy in this deck anymore. Leaf step is virtually useless. Um, let's get that down there. Let's go through the forest. Good luck, my friend. I'm happy to see you go. Alright. There's Boomsy God. That's quite nice to see. And this little thing. Between damage one of your opponent's bench park one. Meh. Torment's more likely. I might just torment away the um, Fear the Forest. Which makes sense. Like, I completely understand it. Yeah, it's weird. I, I don't know. Like, I feel like I'm in a, in a weird. I'm in a weird spot with this deck. Like, if I'm leaning more towards the Shnotic or more, to, more towards the Whimsicott. Like, I like. I like having both options available. I'm not quite sure which direction I want to go yet. Um, but it's certainly a lot of fun. A lot of fun. This is the first Glimwood Tangle deck I've actually built. It's a silly stadium card. <laughs> and it makes for some very interesting plays, which I quite like. Are they really going for the spark play? What? What? I don't know what they're doing. Let's put that down there. Let's put that over there. Let's start charging another fear of the forest. And let's go night night. Do they keep forgetting that I'm dealing 120 damage? Like, seriously. Do they forget that again? I'm so confused. Because, like, the double switch made no sense. I don't know. I don't know what my opponent's doing. But anyway, well, at least you've definitely seen my uh, this new deck in action. Let me know what you think about it, because, like I said, it's a really silly deck, but it's a lot of fun. Um, yeah. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed the video. It's just something very different. And the first time I've built, like, my own Saturn deck in quite a while. Like, completely original Saturn deck in quite a while. So, yeah. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, I certainly had a lot of fun with it. Thanks so much for watching. Cheers. Enjoy.